What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Gotham here with another one. I want to thank Kevin Clarkson as well as Video Game Vegas for supporting the content. I want to say to all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I want to thank all my OG subscribers for staying with me during the journey. We're about 269 subscribers away from the Holy Grail 1K. I, I want to move on, and I want to say that I read everybody's comments, so please continue to comment on the channel. So now on to the episode. We're on episode number 32. I'm going to do a recap from Cool Toys video. Uh, I'll, me personally, he did a great breakdown of the product and his personal opinion, but I want to definitely come behind him. I think personally, I think a lot of community is basically going to step to the side and and basically either they're going to get it or they're not. And I will tell you why they wouldn't get it. They won't get it because RK1 has proven over the years that the products they put out are never built to last. And the 30 day warranty is not a great indicator that this product, they're gonna stand behind the product for long term. So if this product breaks down after 31 days, 45 days, 60 days, 90 days, you are stuck with a 500 and some change cabinet, depending on what your state taxes are. I think this could have a lot of promise if it was built properly, not to what somewhat would you say a commercial grade. I think another point that has no coin slot, that kind of, you know, you have some kids or probably get on it and basically try to get it multiple times and empty out the machine. If you're not noticing during the video, the, the joystick or the panel was constantly moving. Now, I know this might be a demo cab, but that's not a good indicated good indication that this cab is built built properly or built to sustain wear and tear that's another thing uh, the six and eight ounce weight of the claw what is the claw the claw machine wire made out of uh, spaghetti like what, what's going on you're not putting money behind this product that's another thing i i feel that for someone that's putting items in the claw machine they're basically going to have to pick and choose the lightest items, you know, and depending on what they're putting in there, you have to be very careful. I know some people say they might put cannabis in there or cigarettes in there. You got to understand what state you're in. You know, you don't want to do anything with a cops running your house and it's fine that you got a claw machine full of cannabis in there that is illegal to the state. So I need everybody to be conscious of that. It just, the positive, I think, is a great product. But I, it's a great product. I'm glad they decided to do it. Uh, I can't really, I think there's a lot of nostalgia to it. I think kids as well as families will get a kick out of it if you have a home arcade in your house. So there is some positives to it. I'm just trying to be transparent on both sides of the landscape. But personally for me, for $4.99, I cannot see myself buying this right now. I can't. I, I can't see myself. If I do want to buy it, it will sit in a corner. I don't know if I would plug it up and put items in it. It will probably just be home, it'll just be furniture. And to me, that's just a waste of $500, especially in this economy. Everybody trying to put two nickels together to make a dime. I, I just can't see myself purchasing it. And I know RK1UP is trying to make an effort to stay relevant, but the community has been complaining for three years about what they want, what they would like to see, and what products that would hopefully come for them. And RK one of has not delivered for that. I know Media One Up is coming. We don't know if they're coming in CES 2025 or Evo 2025. We know Glenn is coming out with new stuff for 25 as well. So, and then we know Ad Games is going to stay relevant with their 4K series. So where does that put RK one up? This claw machine doesn't have a great indicator that this is going to perform for a long period of time. I, I don't know, this is not a great look. I know they're about to drop the Patman uh, Cabaret Deluxe. We already seen that cab already. And just because it's in a deluxe form factor, it doesn't mean that we're gonna go out there and purchase it. Not everybody is envisioning another Pac-Man cabinet. This is not what we want. You know, maybe if they've done an XL Street Fighter 2, XL Mortal Kombat 2, 
maybe a Marvel versus Capcom, one, uh, an XL. Maybe that will maybe get some interest, but right now that is not the this is not the type of products that as the home arcade home arcade community wants to see. So I will just leave it as that. I want to thank everybody for coming out and watching the video. And if you have not done it yet, please like and subscribe to the channel. Please, it'll help the algorithm for this this video to flow into other markets. Uh, this is again your boy Gotham City. Back at you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.